Right, hello all metal detectorists. Um, yeah, I've been detecting for three and a bit years, maybe getting on for, for four. First couple of years uh, spent uh, on the beach. And so I've been on land for not quite two years and I've had some interesting stuff, a Bronze Age horde. But the, as well as the Bronze Age, the other thing that the local museum, Lancaster Museum, uh, are interested in is Saxon items that I've found. Uh, there's not a lot of very early medieval Saxon finds, well, not a lot of very early medieval finds, uh, not too far from here. Uh, so that's what they're interested in. Uh, it's just a tiny patch, you know, I don't know how to kind of describe how, how big a patch it is. Uh, I don't know acres and, and, and whatnot, but probably about a, th a quarter of a football field um, that these items extended on. It's just a little bump uh, in the ground where they would have been on. Uh, let's have a look what's kind of come up off there. So I don't know if all of it will be Saxon, but let's just have a little look. So we'll go through what's come off. Um, so uh, I'll have a little look at some iron that I've found on there. Then we'll have a look at the lead, then the artifacts, and then finally the uh, coins. Now I'm not saying that uh, these are uh, Saxon um, but they were on the area so I'll kind of say what looks uh, a little bit different to me so I'd say that these are probably a bit more modern so I don't think but they were on there you know I don't think those <laughs> are uh, from an ancient time period you know who knows about that I could be wrong but so this is what's in there so blobs so they've obviously been work someone's been working on something or maybe there's something inside that when all the crud's off who knows a bit of thin stuff uh, that might be more modern but it's kind of these nails that may be from the uh, early medieval Anglo-Saxon type stuff and these you know they strike me as they possibly could be stuff like this I've got no idea maybe not maybe maybe Saxony type stuff that could be any age that's probably a bit more modern and again, that huge um, horseshoe came out. Whether that's from the uh, oh, bit of dust off there, whether that's from uh, that time period, who knows? But it was on there. Okay. So yeah, who knows? These little bits. But that's the iron stuff that came out. Okay, so much to bear in mind. Oh, nearly missed these three from the uh, iron. So is that some kind of uh, stirrup? Another nail. And look at that for a nail. Spike, what have you. Hmm. Look old to me. Exactly how old, who knows. Right, and on to the lead. So these were lead items found uh, on this patch. Now what I didn't keep a lot of, which if uh, if you look at older, a lot of older videos of mine, you'll see that um, there were on this area lots of little like lead drips as if uh, people have been working and making stuff with lead. And I think these would be the things that they were making. So there was lots of this kind of uh, lead drips type of thing. Um, lots of, uh, I guess these were for, they might be for um, 
like like spindle wall type stuff but I think there would be more fishing weights where it's just kind of some more uh, artistically symmetrical than others uh, some a bit cruder um, yeah so lots of these well, as you can see so keep an eye out for this type of stuff yep yeah, I'm not saying they were from this period but they were on there so I'm guessing there's a chance that they were these were the uh, spindle walls they're a bit more of a taller shape yeah you know so a bit bit taller than that kind of flat type so I don't know if that's from a later time period uh, you know these might not be Saxon spindle walls but certainly they were on there and I've not really found spindle walls of that shape anywhere else okay uh, that looks like some kind of weight again don't know if it's from the time period uh, that's an interesting thing for some reason it makes me feel like it's had a spool of um, cotton can we because I don't think it'd be cotton but a spool of I don't know wool around it or something used for uh, making thread perhaps or maybe for fishing wire who knows yeah maybe for spooling fishing wire uh, yeah what next um, yeah that looks to be worked like it's uh, it looks like the wing of a bird doesn't it I don't think that's hap haphazard I think that's been uh, worked to look so they were very good at metal work weren't they uh, again don't know it's from the time period that one might not be I don't know if that's just folded or whether it's uh, been worked into something but that was on there that's is that octagonal eight sides I don't know if there'd be some design on there again I don't know if any of these are from that time period uh, that I don't know what that is but uh, yeah it's got lines through it hasn't it and I don't know what that is whether it's haphazard or whether it was made so that's the uh, lead that I found on there so don't know if that helps anybody oh hang on not finished have I so there was these I think that's a some little stopper is it of some sort could be a gaming piece uh, just a cuboid of lead uh, that yeah don't know what that was for don't know if that hole goes all the way through probably and then just had that so that will be I'll put the clipping of finding that that could be more modern in two halves but that could be a gaming piece and I'll show you why in a second so that came out of there okay so that could be more modern or it could be uh, an Anglo-Saxon gaming piece right so artif artifacts next right so here's the artifacts there that's the actual first thing that I found that indicate on the site that uh, kind of stopped me in my tracks and made me go back and go back and find everything else. Um, there's 
it looks almost Celtic, but you might just be able to see a bit of gold. So it would have been uh, gold plated. Uh, but that's very nice. So it's got two holes in for uh, tying it onto some kind of is it a strap end or um, something like that. Yeah, would have been pinned on. And there's that. So you can see the two eyes at the end. Famous uh, Saxon design. And you can see the all the workings, very very nice workings. So that's snapped off something. So obviously shame we haven't got the full thing. And I'll put a picture up of the thing that's uh, missing at the moment with uh, finds liaison people. Um, right, this was also in the area. It could be the further over on the field. There is there was a Roman um, fibula higher up the field, so it could be Roman or it very early Saxon but that's a pinhead perhaps go into some lady's hair did it okay these little things <laughs> you have to look closely but obviously I was at every tiny little thing coming off this area these are parchment stamps apparently so I mean look at the design on that it's incredible that star and there's one at the other end I don't know why it's got like that cut off. I don't know if it's been hit by some modern machinery. But the detail on that's quite incredible. And th there's another one. So that's got it's got a little design on the end. Yep. Um Right, and then there was these two gaming pieces. So you can see lines made on it. So exactly how the game works, or not, I don't know. Some kind of gambling or what have you. Maybe I just did it for fun, who knows. It's almost like dice, aren't they? So there's two of those. They look quite similar. But uh, this one is silver which is rather nice so that's a piece of hack silver or whatever a gaming piece in silver and then there was this on the site which is quite a hard metal and this may be the tool that was used to make those lines and workings on other metal items so that's the artifacts. And I say I'll put the other strap end up, which is a very beautiful thing. So that's that's the artifacts <coughs> of the Saxon patch. So we just bring back in those things so you can see if those you know those are like gaming pieces, what have you, why it could be that some of the lead items could have been gaming pieces company who knows and of course to top it all the coins so I mean that's uh, these things are absolutely tiny uh, so that's a skeet or shatus a continental porcupine type from about 710 and then three Stiker uh, that came in at a sharp seven obviously from a small area on the equinox and then they come in at tens but so so tiny you, you know it, it takes some finding uh, so yeah so T T O I I. Uh, that's the dot one. 
the well used or worn apart from that one I'll look at the other sides <laughs> you know you'd have to be careful not to miss those wouldn't you I mean look at that absolutely incredible tiny tiny little things so that's the uh, Saxons, Anglo-Saxons, Jutes, whatever they were, locals using their money in North Lancashire. Uh, it'll end up in uh, Lancashire Museum probably. <coughs> um, so yeah, hope that's of interest to you or any help when you're out there looking for them. But these things are absolutely tiny. Good luck. Right, a couple of bonus items which could be uh, of the early, medi very, very early medieval, uh, but were not on the same site, but in the same district. So firstly this one, if you can see the dots across the top and the design on that, that's... Uh, yeah, I don't know, I've been told that could be possibly uh, early medieval, but maybe not. Again, that wasn't on the patch where the other stuff is. And then there should be two of these. Again, something else that's... Uh, uh, lost by the Faisley as an officer, one of these. Uh, let's see if we can get it. I think it's... It looks like a pirate's earring. Uh, there were two, I believe, they're earrings, not part of a chain. And if you look... I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But there's a dot and wave design, which is... <laughs> But well, basically the Saxons liked dots and waves, didn't they? So I don't know if you'd be able to make that out. I could try and try and put a picture up of it, but yeah. So they could be that could be one of a pair of Saxon earrings. And let's hope that the other one and that strap end turns up. Yep. Not on the same area, but possibly. Possibly. Look at that beautiful, just catches the light there. Like I say, good luck out there.